Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Kazem and today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my health and fitness journal. So for this journal, I decided to use this one from Scribble and Dot. I got it off Amazon, so I'll leave a link down below. I just really loved the color and the cover. I usually don't like green, but I thought health and fitness, you know, green seems kind of fitting. And I really liked the gold design of the monstera leaf on the front, so that's why I decided to use this one. The only thing I don't like about this journal is the index pages at the beginning. There's too many of them and I don't use an index at all and I definitely don't need it for this journal. So I just decided to cut them out with a scalpel. If you have a paper cutter that would be better but I do have scalpels so <laughs> I was able to do that. And then I just glued this side of the index with the name page and it worked perfectly. As soon as I open my journal now it's just the name page and then I get right to my front cover and I love it. So obviously I normally post bullet journal videos and I will still be uploading my May bullet journal video. It might be a little late this month but it's still coming with the next Disney princess theme so don't worry. Um, but I decided I wanted to start a health and fitness journal and I just wanted to share that with you guys. This doesn't have a lot of drawings or a lot of art in it like my other stuff does but I wanted to try this out. In 2020, I went on a health and fitness journey and I lost 20 pounds and I was really happy with my progress and I was doing really well. Um, but for those of you who are new to my channel, my dad caught COVID um, December 2020 and then he died in February of 2021. And so when that happened, all ideas of health and fitness were out of my life. I really didn't care about my body and what I was putting into it. I literally had Chick-fil-A so much. I don't, I've literally lost count. I was eating it constantly. I was ordering pizza and I was just eating like terribly throughout that entire period. And it took a while for me to learn that I need to nourish my body again. Because when the person you love most in the world dies, Nothing else matters. You don't care about anything, especially what you're eating. And there was, there was no exercise during that period either. I wasn't doing that at all. And so I have been trying to get back into a healthy mindset ever since. And like during that time, I did gain weight. And then I lost weight th throughout this last year because I realized, no, I need to take care of myself. But now I'm at a point where I'm only like 15 to 20 pounds away from my goal and I just really want to get there but I seem to struggle at caring and caring about what you eat is important. You don't have to lose weight when caring about what you eat but I mean I eat out way too much. I have too much restaurant food, I have too much quick food and I just want to get back to cooking and feeling good about myself. So I thought I would start this journal and hope that it would really help me. Obviously I know I just talked a lot and I didn't get to explain the first two pages but I'll just explain them quickly. Um, the first page was my physical goals where I wrote down my weight, body fat percentage and my average pace for when I go on walks. Those are three goals that I want to make a note of and see if I hit them or not. And then the next spread was my absolute guidelines. And you guys saw I did a bullet list of five things. And basically my absolute guidelines for me are going to be things that I have to stick to if I want to stay on track. And basically what I did last time was I told myself I have to drink a gallon of water every day. And I was able to stick to that. And that was a huge part of my weight loss. Another thing was no bread. I will avoid bread at all costs just because I'm very lazy with bread. If I have bread at a restaurant, it's fine because I don't have it at home. But if I have a loaf of bread in my fridge, I will just eat bread with butter and I literally won't bother to cook or make something. So 
you know, those are that's my idea for like guidelines. It's just absolute musts that I want to keep on there. Now, I want to talk about the spread that I just did as well. That was my like my measurements page and my inspiration board. Um, my measurements page basically just at the beginning and at the very end of this journey I'm just going to see what my measurements are and then my inspiration board is just food and meal inspo that I have actually cooked all of those pictures are meals I have made before they're not my pictures they're from recipes but I have cooked those meals before and I just want to be able to look at it and inspire myself every time now this spread is my workout planner and you guys are going to see a bullet journaler's nightmare right here. I slowed it down. Hang on, here it is. I slowed it down and look what happened to my candle. It spilled on my journal and I was dying inside. I was looking at this wax like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do to fix it? And I, my first theory was I can scrape off the wax because wax dries hard and it dries very quickly so I started scraping off the wax on all of these pages but you know how when you spill water on a journal the page goes darker and then it will fade and lighten up I left this for a little bit and it did not fade the stain from the wax was just there and so I don't know if you guys just saw I attempted to use a white gel pen to cover it up but this notebook has much cooler toned pages than the Archer and Olive one and the, my white gel pen is very warm toned and so on camera it didn't look that bad but in person the white gel pen was just very warm toned and it looked messy. So I took little scraps of paper from the index page that I cut out and I stuck it over those little blobs and then here you can see I was just dotting in a fake dot grid on top and that seems to work for me obviously in person you can still see that there's a piece of paper stuck on top of it but that's what I decided to do I was so tempted to just throw away this journal and start over and I thought to myself that is ridiculous that's such a waste of a nice journal I'm not gonna do that and I just covered up the wax stain with paper I moved on with my life and yeah so this is my before and after pic spread I basically just want to include photos of what I look like before and after the journey just because I find that they can be really helpful and encouraging and then I included some stats on there as well just so I have something to compare and now for the rest of this journal which is completely just going to be my weekly log and I am going to write down things every day on these pages. So every day I'm going to write down what time I went to bed the night before, what time I woke up, how many hours I slept, and I'm going to rate my energy out of 10. So I'll put my energy level as maybe 8 out of 10 that day. And then I'm going to write down my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks with the amount of calories that they all were. And then I'm going to also write down the ounces of water I drank, and I also decided to draw little water cups just for the aesthetic. It's cute. And eight 8 ounce glasses is 64 ounces of water. And that is currently my daily goal. So I am going to scribble in a cup every time I hit, you know, 8 ounces of water that day. And then I'm also going to write down my daily exercise and any notes I may have. And the reason I decided to make this a daily log journal is because I felt like not only does it force me to be more aware of everything, but it also forces me to feel accountable for exercise because there is a section on every page for where I have to write down what my daily exercise was. And that doesn't necessarily mean I have to do an intense workout every day. I don't want to do that and that's way too much, but I still just want to encourage myself to exercise because I will go like three weeks without exercising because I also forget and then I also don't feel like it whereas if I just have it in the journal it makes me feel more accountable and like I have to and then I also just have a little place for food macros because I want to be aware of what percentage of each macro I'm eating every day 
So I did the rest of these daily logs off camera and then I have my weekly review page which just has my strengths, my weaknesses and how I'm feeling. The rest of this journal is 18 weeks long and that's because that's all that fits in this journal and I thought it would be a good time frame just to track a journey of weight loss and see how everything goes. And I also alternated the colors for every week. But anyway, I hope you guys like this journal and like this video. If I do like this journal and I want to continue it, then I will post another one later on. If it doesn't work out for me, obviously I'm not gonna post another one, but I thought it'd be a good experiment and I hope it gives you guys some ideas if this is something you're interested in as well. If you're still watching until the end, thank you so much and subscribe if you're new. I have different content that's more artsy and you should be seeing that hopefully within the next week or two with my May bullet journal setup. And I'll see you guys in the next one.